Hey guys. Uh, 5G store. I'm repping. I got this from my best friend and her family and it's so comfy and I love it. Mm. So this weekend, I was at my mom's house in Windsor. Basically, when I left for university, we sold our house in Guelph and I flew to the middle of the ocean in Hawaii and my mom went back to her house in Windsor. Since then, all of our belongings that were in that old house have been sitting in this massive blue truck bed storage container in my mom's driveway. We went to go clean it out. In one of the boxes that I found, I found a lot of old swimming stuff. I managed to find all of my old racing suits. So I wanted to have a little bit of fun. I've decided that I'm gonna try all of these on again. And we're gonna see what happens. For the non-swimmers out there, we use racing suits basically to squish your body into the most small form that you can make it and make you as hydrodynamic as physically possible. I'm now almost 25 years old. I weigh like 160. I've grown since I've worn these suits. I swam competitively from when I was about 10 until I was about 20. These are from, I'm gonna say ages 12 to 18, maybe? I was a lot smaller than I am now. So this should be a little interesting. This, my friends, is my evolution of racing suits. I do have more than this, but they've either completely ripped to shreds or I just can't find them. So we're gonna work with what we got. First up, this is our Aqua Blade. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like kind of stripes. This was the cheapest racing suit you could get. Still probably is. This is not my first one. I definitely had a lot more before this, but uh, this will probably be the easiest one to put on. And this is the first edition of Fast Skin, at least that I owned. And it has these little pokey dots. I don't even know what they're made of, like silicone. Apparently it was supposed to make you fast. Vroom. These two suits I wore when I was 13 and maybe 14. Then here we have the, what are they called? Do they have a tag? Oh, these ones were called Faskin FS2s. They were a paper suit. And when these came out, it was like the coolest thing because they repelled water. And we were like, whoa, that's so cool. And here we have the Laser Pro. Um, I wore this one out so hard and they were notoriously bad for ripping. So this right here is me sewing up the suit because it had ripped completely in half. And I still wore it. And then this was the last edition that I ever owned. This was the Laser Elite. It's a lot tighter. Um, you can't really see it, but if I turn it inside out, it had these like panels inside. I have other suits that have it in different colors. These panels were number one, to make you go faster and streamline you through the water, but also to eliminate any seams in the bathing suit, less drag. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna try on is this Aqua Blade. Shouldn't take me too long, hopefully. It'll be fine. I'll be fine. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, but it's kind of tiny. Whew. Man, that sucks things in. And this is not even the bad one. Okay, this one's not too bad. I got it on. That's good. Doesn't ignore the fact that I still can't breathe very well. This is pretty loose, actually. Normally, we say that if you can stretch them up to your ears, it's too big. Which So this would be a little bit too loose if you were racing. <sighs> but for an ex-swimmer who hasn't put on one of these things in a long time, it's still tight. I'm gonna be bruised after this. Why did I make this choice? So next I'm gonna put on one of these, the Gen 1 of Fast Skins. I don't know if you can see that, but that part right there that looks really gross, that means it's been worn out. So that part right there is gonna be see-through and I might have my hand over top of that part. Let's go. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. This is where it's gonna get hard. Uh-oh. I have not put this on since I was probably like 120 pounds. Oh boy. Okay guys, I got it halfway up. I did get it over my butt, which is kind of nice, but it's like almost cutting me. Oh my goodness. This part's all worn out. Let's see if I can get it over top of my chest. Okay, well I was a lot smaller when I was 13. This is all completely worn out. I wore it out so much that I started using it in the lake and had to wear another suit on top. But these spiky things feel cool. My first one was like this color of blue, but then like a light blue on the side here. They came in lots of pretty colors. Okay, this one was obviously a lot easier to put on, mostly because it doesn't have legs. Oh boy, PCL is red already. Ow! Oh. If you wanna watch a video of me actually swimming in this suit when I was 13. Let's put 
put on the next one. All right, we're on to the paper suits. I'm just gonna try on one of these because they're the exact same suit, they're just different colors. The blue one was the very first one that I got, and then I got the black one after. But black is slimming, so let's try that one on. <laughs> oh no. Houston, we have a problem. I'll also have you know that if one of these racing suits doesn't take you at least 15 to 20 minutes to actually get on, it's not tight enough for you. You need a tighter one. Because if you can breathe, it's not good enough. I'm trying to get it over my butt. Okay, but I got it. It's there. It feels like it's gonna rip. Whew. But we're fine. It's okay. We got this. Ugh. Now it's the easy part. Okay, not too bad. I think the straps are obviously loose. Everything else is pretty tight. Not gonna lie, this part right here feels like it's gonna rip. Can I do whip kick in it? It would like spring load me back. Ugh. Okay, ready to swim. Michael Phelps, it, oh, ow. I can't do that, I'm not double jointed. All right, next on the docket is this Laser Pro. Got it part way over my butt. As you can see, this is, this is not comfortable. All right, it's on. If you don't have Alyssa Edwards back rolls, you're not doing it right, even if you're super skinny. So normally at this point, you'd have somebody to grab this strap and with their whole body, pull it this way. Ow. I don't have that, so I might get stuck or this might rip. Oh my gosh. Oh, that hurts. I got one. Jeez, this is tight. Okay. Keep in mind, I also wore this. I think I was 15 or 16 maybe when I got this. I was petite. Oh, I got it. Okay, Whew, we're good. Man, I feel fast. <laughs> Squats. <laughs> Butterfly. <laughs> yeah, so these ones also repel water. I'm out of breath. Oh my gosh. Can you see my arm? That's the pain we endure. Endured. Also, the neckline goes like up to here. Now we used to have to splash water down it before you swim. Because if you don't, you get a big air bubble right here and then your whole suit blows up like a Michelin man. All right, I got one more to do. We got our laser elite. Let's do this. So this one actually has this like band of sticky stuff on the inside. It's meant so that it doesn't slide up your leg and it creates this nice seamless flow. But you have to flip it up this way or else it's not gonna go up anywhere. Okay, I got it over my butt. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm actually sweating. And I'm gonna be honest with you. It feels like my intestines are being elastic band ripped in half right now. <laughs> I need to get this up higher. <laughs> it's actually killing. I'm gonna work on this and uh, I'm gonna try to get both straps on on my own. That actually wasn't as hard as the other one was. Yeah, the straps are, they've gotten looser. But you can see the paneling, right? I've got like a diaper pack here, and then I got like these two that come down. Can you see that? Pointy. My butt see through? No, it's not, we're fine. All right, well that was fun. I'm gonna have bruises on my arms soon, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like a swim life video sometime in some future that is not now. Thanks for joining me for this one. Later dudes.